Hi, Marty Lechlader, Product Manager on the Adaptive Capabilities and Forms Experience Builder 8.6. We'll start by taking a look at adaptive page settings. With this one page form, I'll go into Page Properties and set a dynamic width for the form. So I'm going to start at 300 and span to 700 pixels. And then I'm going to specify that the form collapse to one column when it's less than 420 pixels. So if we preview this, and then change the size of the window, I can see the desired effect. Looking at my mobile phone, I also see the dynamic width with single and two column behavior. Sections can have adaptive behavior independent of page settings. So going back to the same application with the dynamic page settings, I've added a section, I've put the contact information in there, and I purposely have the dynamic capabilities turned off so you can see what effect it has. So when we go to preview this, we see the form with the section and two columns. If I take a look at this on my mobile phone, it forces it into single column but the section stays intact with two columns. When I flip the phone to landscape, we can see that it is changed to two column for the entire form like it did on the desktop preview. So let's create two sections and turn the dynamic behavior on for both. I've done that already. Here we can see the second section. I'll preview this on my desktop and we see the form, two sections, two columns. On my phone in portrait, it's two sections, one column. Flip it to landscape, it's two sections, two columns. So let's make this more interesting by adding a third column with an image and some text. So what I want is to see the entire form at 850 pixels, and then when it's less than 815, I want to drop it down to one column with the exception of the sections which remain at two columns. I want a rule to hide the image and text and then I want to see everything in one column when it's less than 570. Looking at the page settings you can see that I changed the dynamic range from 3 to 850 and I put a breakpoint in at 815. I've added a rule which says when the width is less than 815 pixels, hide the section and the text above. And then I have dynamic behavior in each of the sections that says collapse to one column inside the section at 570 pixels. You can choose whatever breakpoints you want, of course, to target the device or to suit your application needs. Launching the application on my desktop, I can see the full form is rendered. I'll minimize this browser so we can see the dynamic behavior. Here it switches to one column with two in the section and now one column for everything, and then back. On my smartphone, I see one column in portrait for everything, and then in landscape, one column with two columns in the section. So in summary, Forms Experience Builder 8.6 has some great new adaptive capabilities that let you set behaviors at a page, section, or for that matter, any element in your form with rules. Thank you.